friends and welcome to EduperiaWorld.com. Your destination to online education. Friends, as we have already described, the various attempts which have been made to classify the elements from time to time. So, in the hierarchy, we learned firstly the Dobereni triads, then we learned New Zealand law of octave. We also described the Mendeleev classification of elements, in which we learned mainly periodic table and the law. So and now in this session we shall learn the last topic of the periodic table which is modern periodic table. So friends in this session we shall cover up all these subtopics. First is what is modern periodic table. Then is the differentiation between the Mendeleev and the modern periodic table. We shall also learn some features of the modern periodic table. And lastly we shall discuss some defects and uses of this periodic table. So friends, let's understand the whole concept about the modern periodic table. Periodic table, as we know, it is a systematic arrangement of elements in groups and periods. And modern periodic table is also called the long form of periodic table. It was actually formed by Henry Moselet, an English physicist in 1913. According to him, the atomic number is a better fundamental property of an element compared to its atomic mass. He also gave a law which we call it as a modern periodic law which states that the physical and the chemical properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic numbers. Friends, let's understand the whole concept in details. It's modern periodic table. Which was given by Henry Musele in 1913. He firstly gave a law which states that the physical and the chemical properties of an elements are the periodic function of its atomic number. Friends, we know that the atomic number is nothing but the number of protons present in the atom of a particular element. Now we shall describe and understand this law as this law is based on the atomic numbers of the element and according to the law the property of the elements are a periodic function of their atomic number which means that if the elements are arranged in a tabular form in order of increasing atomic number then the elements having a similar property will occur after fixed intervals of or periods you can say that and when actually elements are arranged according to the increasing atomic number there is a periodicity of electronic configuration of the elements and the periodicity of the electronic configuration leads to the periodicity of the chemical properties let's understand this concept by the help of examples as i said there is a relation between atomic number which leads to the electronic configuration which leads to the periodicity of chemical properties. 
as well as the physical properties. Let's understand by two examples. First example, I'll give you the increasing at in atomic numbers from 3 to 18. By second example, I'll give you the first group example by which we'll understand the whole concept of this law. As now, we know that the properties of the element depend on the number of valence electrons, right? Let's write down the properties of elements depends upon the valence electron which actually take part in the chemical reactions which are the outermost electrons in the atom I'll give you the example and make a we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Let's write down the elements. B, E, B, C, N, Oxygen, Fluorine, Sodium, Magnesium, Aluminium, Silicon, potassium, sulfur, chlorine, and argon. According to this, this is the atomic number, friends. This is the element symbol. Now let's write down the electronic configuration of these elements respectively. I'll write EC electronic configuration. It is having two one. It will have two two four electrons. Two three two four two five two six. This is two seven. This is two eight. Then we come to first and second cell is filled third having the one electron that is the one valence electron now we have two valence electron we have three here we have four we have five here six seven and this is eight Now you can see this example I have given you the elements having increasing order of the atomic numbers and the respective electronic configurations. Since the number of valence electron in the element show the periodicity, the regular repetition, the chemical properties also show periodicity. Yes, as you can see here that the atomic number of lithium is 3 and its electronic configuration is 2-1 thus the lithium has one valence electron in its atom right I shall mark down the similar elements having this sim similar chemical properties as the atomic number is increasing the number of valence electron increasing from 1 to 8 in Nian, right? You can see here the Nian have 2 and 8. 
now in the electronic configuration of sodium is 2 8 and 1 where the sodium element have 1 valence electron so you can say that the electronic configuration of sodium is similar to that of lithium so these two are having a kind of similar chemical properties from this we conclude that as the atomic number increasing from 3 in lithium to 11 in sodium there is a repetition of electronic configuration from 2 1 to 2 8 1 both having one valence electron since the electronic configuration has been repeated the property of the elements are also repeated so the lithium and sodium have a similar properties therefore this shows a real significance of a modern periodic classification based on atomic number is that it relates the periodicity in the properties of elements to the periodicity in their electronic configuration right you can also see some similar other similar pairs I shall mark by the other color here you can see this element and magnesium right you can see boron and aluminium having a equal number of or you can see similar number of valence electron with 3 and 3 so this shows that the electronic configuration and the chemical property relates to the periodicity of the atomic numbers now let's talk about the second example which I wanted to share with you is a elements of group 1 second example I want to take the first group which we also call them an alkali metals yes friends we shall discuss all these important terms in future slides let's take elements here the electronic configuration first is lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium Frangium, respectively, their atomic numbers be three, eleven, nineteen, thirty seven, fifty five, and Frangium be the eighty seven. Electronic configuration is of lithium is two one, and the sodium have two eight one. Potassium B two eight eight one then rubidium have two eight eighteen 
eight, one. Then we have cesium two, eight, eighteen, eighteen, eight, and one. And lastly, the francium have two, eight, eighteen, thirty-two. 18, 8, and 1. So friends, all these elements have one electron each. They are almost in their outermost shells. And so they have similar properties. Let's write down the properties which they share. So for all the groups of all the elements, with the same valence electron, they must be sharing the similar properties. Right? So, what are these properties? First, they are good reducing agent. Second, they form an unipositive ion. Then they are similar in as they are called soft irons, soft metals. Then they are very reactive. And so are found mainly in combined state. They impart color to flame when they burn. This means they show a color when we took it near the burning area. They can form hydrides with hydrogen and many similar properties. So, what we conclude that every element which have the similar valence electron in their outermost shell will have the similar chemical properties, right? It should be noted that the element with the similar electronic configuration have similar properties. Thus, this cause the periodicity is the recurrence of similar electronic configuration. Thank you.